Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to record two USB microphones on both Mac and PC. This video is sponsored by Blue and Logitech, who were cool enough to send me two Blue Yetis to try this out with, the Blackout Edition and the Steel Red Edition. So let's get started, first of all, with PC, because often we have problems with the PC, and, well, you do need to install one extra thing, it's called ASIO for All. Once you've downloaded this and installed this, I've already done this on my computer, you can go to any audio editor that you choose, I'm using Adobe Audition here, and then you can go into the Preferences, Audio Hardware, and you want to go ahead and look for ASIO for All. When you're there, click the Settings button, which will take you to the ASIO for All user interface. When you've got this loaded up, you want to click the spanner in the bottom right so you get the advanced settings. Now you can select both Blue Yeti microphones, or whatever microphones with a USB connection you are using. Once you've done this, head back to Adobe Audition, click OK, and then go into a multi-track session. Now here you can assign each USB microphone to a different track so you can get separated recordings of your USB microphones. On the first track, we'll go down and select on the input the first stereo input, which will be microphone number one. And then on the second track, we'll go down, but this time we'll select the second microphone in the list, which will allow us to record two Blue Yetis at the same time. On those tracks to record, and you'll see that the audio is starting to appear, and then I'm going to record a quick sample on both microphones. Let's hit record. This is Mike Russell speaking on Blue Yeti microphone number one. And this is Mike Russell speaking on Blue Yeti microphone number two. So with ASIO for all, it's pretty easy to do on a PC. Let's hop into Mac and see how easy it is over there. First of all, you're going to want to do a spotlight search and look for audio MIDI setup. Head in there, and then here you'll see at the bottom left there's a plus icon. Click that, and then create a new aggregate audio device. When you're here on your new aggregate device, you should see both Blue Yeti microphones showing up. So, here on the Mac, you tick the input, and it's very important to look for the tick next to the inputs. You tick the input on both Blue Yeti, so number one, and then again, you look for the second Blue Yeti, input only, and tick it again. And now you've created an aggregate device with two Blue Yeti microphones, or whatever USBs you're using. Now we'll head over into Adobe Audition. We'll go into the Adobe Audition menu, Preferences, Audio Hardware, and here we're looking to select the aggregate device we just created. Now it's very important, obviously we're using Core Audio, aggregate device as the input, and then, once we've done that, we want to make sure that our master clock is also the aggregate device. With this all done, you can click OK, start a brand new multi-track session, and here, for each track, you can select an input, and of course, because Blue Yeti's a stereo, we will be selecting stereo inputs here. So let's go ahead on track one and select our first Blue Yeti under the stereo input, and then on track two, we'll select our second Blue Yeti in the list. Then we simply arm both tracks for recording, and you'll see the audio starting to appear. And now I'll make a quick test sample on Mac by hitting record. This is Mike Russell on a Mac on Blue Yeti microphone number one. This is Mike Russell on a Mac on Blue Yeti microphone number two. Absolutely fantastic, and I wanted to show you this with the Blue Yeti microphone, as it is such a popular choice for podcasters and streamers. Really reasonable price, multitude of colors, and great features like volume dial, auto mute on the front, the ability to plug in headphones. And then of course on the back of these wonderful microphones you can change the gain, so the audio input into your audio editor, and even the pattern. So I work usually in cardioid mode, it's great for voice, but you've got the figure of eight if you've got two people back and front of the microphone, omnidirectional to record everything around you, and even if you're recording music you can flip over into stereo mode, these are stereo microphones. So thank you so much to Blue and Logitech for sponsoring this video and sending these Blue Yetis through, and I hope this helps you to record more than one microphone without the need of a mixer. Very easy, just plug the USB into the back of your computer and you're up and running.